just happy I get to drive something different. How many months has it been? Oh, okay. And this is a very good start. Why? Because it's the Arteon or Arteon. And it's also the high power version with 280 horsepower. Voila. And the selling price, ooh -hoo, goes right up against the 320i. You know, the rather Kosong-ish 320i. And this beats it by what? 100 horsepower? Harman Kardon speakers? Looks to die for? Yes, it is a beautiful car. Alright? And I like the interior. It's finally, we have an interior that doesn't look like the usual VW interior. You know the usual VW interior, we've been seeing it since the, the Passat uh, B5, B7, and then the B8. And if the suspension is exactly like how the Passats, then this will be brilliant. I have to say, man, the fit and finish of VWs is just amazing for their price point. Oh, this is... Oh, oh, haptic, haptic, very good. I just noticed the engine start back. I didn't realize as I was coasting down to a halt, it has already switched off the engine. And now it is off. Air conditioning still cold. Modern cars, modern cars. So it's, it's, it's the kind of, you know, um, small battery that, charges up as you brake and then as you come to a halt they use that power to power the ancillaries all right uh, is there adaptive suspension okay uh, for those of you first time watching i explore my cars together with my viewers so i do not study anything before i roll the video and i bring you guys together into the car and we explore it together that's my proposition, all right? Uh, I don't, you know, like memorize stuffs before I go into the car. We explore them together, all right? Uh, same old tiny little pedal shifters that has, I think, is time for a little bit of a change. Um, yeah, they should have something more substantial, something larger. I'm sure they have it in the VW parts bin, something bigger. All right, steering wheel very sporty, flat bottom steering wheel, not a small wheel. I've held smaller ones, okay, and I think this is, I don't know. I mean, we're having like electric power steerings now for already for quite some time. You know, we don't need even power steerings, eh? but but it gives me a full view of the digital cluster from my vantage point. That means the steering wheel does not cut out any part of the visual. Even though there aren't a lot to explore, it's very clear cut. They didn't stuff it full of information just like how Mercedes does with their um, digital LCD clusters. And um, very nice. There is a hard, hardened glass panel over the LCD. That means I can't use my fingers to poke it and have that little rainbow ripple effect. Now these are stretches that are horrible and this car just, oh, it just smoothens them out. Amazing. This, again, I have to attest, I mean, every single time I go behind the wheel of a Volkswagen product, I'm always amazed with how they deal with the suspension. You know, uh, the ability to absorb and the ability to go high speed over undulations, you know, absorbing and resolving the uh, compression without additional unnecessary movements. Oh my god, this is just really, really good suspension. Thank you. Full lock, that's all I get. This is straight and one and a half just one what wait this is straight yes and look at this just one 
and it's full lock. Okay, I can't do more. Pretty tight, I would say. Okay. Oh, it sounds really good. Oh, seriously, every single time I drive one of these modern four pot turbocharged German premium marks, right? It makes me wonder in the real world, do we need cars like an Audi RS6 or a BMW M5? You know, it's seriously, situations like this. I will not be able to run away or get away from a car like this. No way. Because, first of all, modern suspensions, and especially those from VW, they really, you see, this type of roads, right? Most other cars would have had, would be shaking me around and letting me hearing all sorts of, all sorts of sound coming up from the suspension and the control arms and all that, or the suspension bottoming out or just, you know, you, you know the drill, but this one is just amazing. Magic carpet, man. This is, and it's not some air suspension trickery or whatnot. No, it's, is it even adaptive? I don't know. Oh, that's the mode. Is that a, ah, sport. Let's do that, shall we? Bury the throttle. the car out. That's fast. That is rapid. Great brakes. Great, great brakes. Great sound. <laughs> this is no joke, man. <laughs> Tell me if it is possible for a, um, uh, I mean, in, in, in real world driving situations like this, right? Can an M5 or an RS6 escape a car like that. Seriously, it's crazy. What kind of price they're paying? This is like one third the price of the, the new M3. Oh, the sound of the engine. Vroom, vroom. I like that. Paddle shifters are, are a bit tiny, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> That's some proper sound. I don't care whether it's augmented or not, but it just sounds great. And this is the hardest setting? Damn. I'm now, I'm now in S shift mode, you know, the sports shift. It doesn't do that hanging thingy. That's really good. This is really, really nice to drive. Oh. Okay, BMW and B Mercedes owners, you may not get used to the uh, rather... <clears throat> it's a fast rack because one circular, uh, one rotation and you're lock to lock. But at least I was able to do a U-turn on a one and a half lane, one and a half lane kind of two two lane or three lane wide road, you know. Uh, it's not the tightest, but it's also not as bad as the R56 generation Mini. Yeah, R56 generation Mini has absurdly big turning circles. This is not tight as per, as tight as the rear wheel drive uh, Germans, but it's all right perfectly acceptable. Now, if you've tested this, and if you still go and buy the Audi A4, right, you are an idiot. Uh, you shouldn't. Seriously, what other German makes? Uh, I mean, C-Class or 3 Series. <laughs> are they even in this league? My God. Because if you think about it, right, the uh, M340i is four-wheel drive has a lot of power, has more power than this, but objectively speaking, 
bang for buck how much you're getting out of this versus you already get a lot out of that to be honest right at, at, the, at the kind of price but come on man this is hundred thousand hundred fifty hundred sixty thousand ringgit cheaper that's the beauty with power you can overtake anyone anytime you want and that's a form of luxury right sometimes you'll be thinking that why do i need that much horsepower blah 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 but at certain times when you need to your car could doesn't mean you you have to do it every single day but they can that's the difference having the option is the difference luxury makes i would actually appreciate if for models like this, you know, like a 4Motion, Arteon, R-Line or whatnot, right? I, the mode button that changes the driving characteristics, maybe they could, you know, have it here or something. Oh, this car has lane assist and uh, what else does it have? Okay, that's the safety logo, I, I, I presume. Oh, now this part isn't very clear because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm toggling between this and then there's a little arrow that moves around my speedo cluster as if to maybe, is that the, the, the speed warning or some sort? I'm, I'm not sure, but I'll just leave it there. Blind spot warning on the side mirrors. Uh, I'm surprised because for some time, car makers have been putting the blind spot warning lights on the behind the mirror with some logos that light up. But this one that they're do that they're doing with the with the amber indicators on the inside of the side mirror housing is something. Of a previous generation like my Audi RS6 has that little light over there and this sort of suspension my Audi would not be able to chase this car in a neighborhood like that because this kind of Volkswagen suspension that just I would say this one is slightly firmer than the Passat all right the Passat really uh, yeah why because this gives a more direct left right left right kind of driving feel you know the reaction whereas the Passat is softer but even though the suspension yes the suspension is really well judged and all that but when you turn you still have the, the body roll but it's a very controlled body roll the kind that gives you uh, feedback and with the feedback gives you the confidence to do it even though it leans more than this right this one of course is also very confidence inspiring uh, there's just no fear behind the wheel you just want to pump the pedal and just go fast because the brakes are predictable the the linearity of the brake pedal is really really good I find no faults in in the way this car drives of course it's highly boosted and of course it's just a two liter engine that also means the initial build-up takes a little bit of basically if there is a chart with how the power delivers the initial part is a is a more gradient gradient you know slope whereas immediately after that it just goes steeper up you know it just goes up like that so I have no qualms with this uh, in fact it boosts faster than than my six both my six the boost comes in faster all right man I'm amazed I'm amazed um, it's spacious it's fast it's comfortable you have all that you need and the rear leg room and the boot space 
um, add to the fact that uh, we don't hear about reliability issues or after sales issues with Volkswagen anymore. They've solved all this over the years. Bye. Bye. Job well done. Job well done. Bye. Uh, for this price, performance, space, practicality, uh, no comparison. Yeah, I can safely say this. No comparison at all. All right? Thank God that the brothers on the rise now. Endless celebrations all of mine.